Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have vlogged. I've picked up the camera to vlog multiple times and just kind of gave up. I don't know, I've just been in like a weird mood lately and haven't really felt like I had anything interesting to share, but um, I decided to go ahead and pick up the camera today and show you some things around the house. The room that I'm in right now is my front room. It's where my desk is, where my computer is. And this room, I didn't really give a lot of love and TLC when we first moved in, but I recently purchased some new decor items. So I figured I'd give you a little tour of this room and share with you, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the new things that I picked up to decorate this room with. So here's a quick peek at the room. The ottoman from the living room couches in here, we're actually gonna be selling this. We took this out um, for Christmas time and we just really like the extra space. Like this ottoman is massive and that's not a stain. It's just been like sat on and jumped on a million times by the kids. Um, but this is a massive ottoman and it took up a huge amount of space. I'll show you what the living room looks like without it in it. But we've decided that we're not going to put the ottoman back in. So it's just kind of hanging out in here for now. Um, but I did um, find a pretty picture to put on the wall. I love it. I found it at Kirkland's. I love Kirkland's. I Kirkland's all the time. Um, this piece of furniture here has been here since we moved in. But I kind of cleaned it off with top and just added a few little decor pieces. I put my Joanna Gaines homebody, hello, homebody um, book there. These two little pretties, Kaysen and Lainey picked each of these out for me for Christmas. Kaysen picked out the little boy and he said since the little boy is holding a heart that it means I love you mommy. So that was super cute. And then Lainey said this is her and this is me. So I set those guys up there so that I can look at them all the time. Did you write your words? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Kaysen gets four new spelling words each week, so he's practicing writing them. And then this piece here was on a different shelf, but it was Kevin's grandmother's, and I think it's gorgeous. So I have that setting there. And then I got a few little plants from Home Goods the other day. I hadn't been to Home Goods in forever, but I've been wanting to add a few little potted greenery plants to the house, so I grabbed this little one. The green shutters were a gift from my parents a long time ago, um, and I really wanted to incorporate them somehow, so I was happy when I saw this picture, because I love white. I love the way that, I love the color white in our house, and I love using white decor, um, and I loved the navy background. I thought it was so beautiful, and then it had the greenery as well, so I thought it would be perfect. It would be great to tie in my shutters. And then the chair, is from Home Goods a long, long time ago. And then I added a few new little things to this. This little sign came in my FabFitFun box um, sometime last year, I can't remember which one, maybe the fall one. And then those candlesticks are both from Kirkland's. This I got on that same Home Goods trip. I have a few little lifestyle books here, and then this vase is from Kirkland's, and so is that tray. I picked up the tray that vase, the candlesticks, and my framed picture all on the same Kirkland's trip last week. So all that should still be in store. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little home decor update on my front room. I have not even attempted to sell the ottoman yet. I will eventually. Right now the dogs use it as a perch to look out of the window and it, I sometimes sit on it too. I'll just come in here and diddle on my phone and kinda hang out on the ottoman, but um, I'll show you what the living room looks like without the ottoman in it. It, we have so much more space in there. Okay, so here is what the couch and the rug and the living room looks like without the ottoman. So much more space, it's so much better with the kids and the dogs, and yeah, we're just not gonna put the ottoman back in here. Um, it's just much better without it um, space-wise, and it's been a while since I've seen Lila. She's getting enormous. She's gotten so big, she's grown so fast. She's only four months old. She turned four months on the 20th of January and she's getting so, so big. So is Lainey. Hey Lanes. Hi mommy. What you doing? I'm sitting down. You're sitting down? Hey Ree. Are you still loving being a big sister? I want a new house. What? I like our new house. You like our new house? Yes. Oh, well I'm so glad. Oh, it's my crib. You're a big girl, you don't have a crib anymore. You want to be a baby again? Yes. Aww. I was a baby in the hospital. Yeah, when you were a baby, you were in the hospital. I know I'm getting shorter. I want to get my puppy. I want to get my tummy. 
So I'm bringing you guys into the bedroom because there is something that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a very long time and it's my latest Louis Vuitton handbag purchase. I have been meaning to do this video and I tell myself every week I'm gonna film that video this week and it never happens. So I figured why not just go ahead and share it with you now. Um, the latest bag that I purchased, which I've had this bag for a couple months now, it's the Louis Vuitton Monogram V Tote and I love it. I I think it is such a nice handbag. I love the warm brown and the black because I can wear it with anything. Also, it comes with a removable crossbody strap that is adjustable and it's a top handle. So I have multiple ways that I can carry it. I can easily carry it when I'm in mom mode and I can carry it when I'm living it up by myself or with the hubby. So um, yeah, it's also got a big zipper so that I can keep everything nice and secure. But I got a really great deal on this bag. I did purchase it from Fashion File. It was listed as an excellent condition, but it was pretty much brand spanking new. I mean, a lot of the hardware still had the clear stickers on it. The only sign of wear that was on the bag was the luggage tag. So this handbag does come with a luggage tag and they did not specify this in the details of the bag which I could have easily gotten on to them about but I didn't. But the luggage tag right here was heat stamped. The foil from the heat stamp was removed I guess either prior to selling it to Fashion File. I doubt Fashion File took it off. Um, but I did not know that this was going to be heat stamped or that it was already heat stamped whenever I purchased it. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, I don't plan to heat stamp it. You can't even tell. I mean, nobody would know unless I told them that that was there. Um, but I really like this bag. I'm not going to go into specifics or anything. I am going to do a separate what's in my bag on this handbag in particular. Um, but I do really like it. So far, so good. Um, I still plan to do a luxury handbag like collection video and show you all of my handbags in my collection, what I use each bag for. I will say not to toot my own horn, but I am very good about using every bag in my collection. I change out handbags multiple times a week. I make sure to give all of my handbags love. And if there ever comes a point in time where I have a bag that I'm just not using and that I don't want to use, I will have no problem selling it. I'm not going to keep an item like a luxury handbag in my collection if I don't love it and if I don't use it. So um, I do, tr I do um, make sure to take really good care of my bags so that if I ever do need to resell, um, I can do that. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I know some of you had asked like, hey, what was your new bag? And I wasn't trying to keep anybody hanging or anything. I just hadn't shown it. So um, yeah, this is the bag. I absolutely love it. I will do a what's in my bag and a review style video on that bag very shortly. Oh, speaking of Louis, I wanna show you a little accessory that I got for one of my bags. So one thing that my handbag collection has been lacking is a really nice shoulder bag. I've wanted just like a really pretty shoulder bag to carry when I'm a little bit more dressed up or when I go on a date night, anything like that, but I just haven't found one that I absolutely love. And I mean, the Chanel's are gorgeous, but I am just not gonna spend that kind of money on a handbag, at least not Right now, I just don't, I, I don't feel the need or the want to spend four or $5,000 on a handbag. I think that's a little silly, especially for my lifestyle. Um, so I wanted to come up with a way that I could use or figure out like a more inexpensive way to dress up a handbag or to get the desired look that I was going for. And I had the perfect idea. So I have been wanting a bag chain from HRH collection for a long time. And I just had an epiphany one day and I was like, my Clapton is the perfect size for a pretty shoulder bag. That bag is gorgeous. It's, it's one of my top two favorite bags. And I was like, I think a bag chain would look absolutely stunning on that bag. So I purchased the bag chain and it does not disappoint. Like this is so pretty to me. I absolutely love it. So this bag chain was 150. It's the medium length bag chain on the HRH website. And I think it matches this handbag absolutely perfectly. It's just so pretty. And I um, still get comments on my video that I did on this bag. It was my um, review and what fits inside. If you haven't seen the video on this bag, I'll have it linked down below. And people ask me all the time if I still use it, if I thought it was worth the money, if I still love it. 
absolutely 100% yes. This was worth every single penny. This is one of my absolute favorite bags. I just, I, I love carrying it. I think it is so pretty. I don't care if it's summer, winter, spring, fall. I carry it. It's definitely a fall, winter bag, like color wise, but I carry it all year round and I absolutely love the bag chain. I don't regret it at all. It one, one, it saved me a lot of money from buying a brand new handbag and just buying the bag chain. It's like I have two bags in one. So I'm gonna show you what the bag looks like on the body. And this is what it looks like. I think it hits at like the perfect spot too. Absolutely love where it hits. The chain is so beautiful. It is comfortable, like you wouldn't, I mean, it's a chain, so you'd think like, oh, that's gonna be so uncomfortable, it's gonna fall off. It doesn't, it wears really well. Oh, it's just so pretty. So I wore it like this in Vegas. I've worn it. Me and Kevin went on a date night the other night and I wore it out. It's just so pretty. I absolutely love it. So here's like an up close of the chain. And then the clasps are circles. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you. And um, if you have like a bag that you think would be like perfect shoulder style bag, get a bag chain. She has multiple bag chains on her site. I'll list the HRH website down below as well. But um, yeah, this is a fabulous bag chain. I will say expect, cause she hand makes each item. So it's gonna take like 10 days to two weeks to get your item. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous and I love it. Exactly, literally exactly what I wanted. So good. I almost forgot to show you guys what the monogram V tote looks like on the body so right now i have it on top handle yes i'm wearing my slippers lila wants her 15 minutes of fame so she's gonna come in here and make an appearance um but yeah this is what it looks like top handle it's a very comfortable top handle bag um it is like kind of like a triangular shape it's wider towards the base than it is at the top um so lila get out of here oh yeah the purse has feet too all right, now let's put it on the shoulder. Okay, and here's what it looks like on the shoulder. So it is pretty large for a crossbody, but it's nice if you're a mom and you need the space and you just like need to get your handbag off your arm. So that's what it looks like on the shoulder. So now we'll do crossbody. And here it is crossbody. It actually wears very comfortably crossbody, surprisingly enough. I know that larger handbags can be kind of uncomfortable crossbody, but this one lays really nicely, um, especially if you don't overfill it. If you overfill it, it can get a little uncomfortable on the hip. Um, but this is the bag that I carried today. Lainey and I ran a bunch of errands this morning, had a lot of like car maintenance errands we had to run. So I brought this, I could fit her tablet in it and then still like have my hands free for her and all that good stuff. So yeah, um, oh, for size reference, I'm 5'3", um, but yeah, this is a really nice bag. It transitions really well from mommyhood to solo dolo, so it's a good one. What do you think, Billy? Lila. <gasps> Lila. Oh, you're so cute, Billy. There's the OG. Hey, Ree. so cute so yeah i just wanted to um share those things with you guys share with you a few of my home decor updates i'm still working on decorating the house i don't think it's ever gonna be done i feel like style changes and you find little things here and there and um yeah but anytime i i feel like there's other little home decor updates that i need to show you but I can't think of what they are now, but I definitely will keep home decor updates coming. And I really wanted to share those two handbag things with you. I'm absolutely loving that bag chain. And then I really needed to show you guys the monogram V tote. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really need to do a haul, a makeup haul, makeup and beauty haul. I have been collecting things since like Christmas and then what I bought with my gift cards and just what I've been picking up this past month some really really good things And then I also need to do like a get ready with me style videos showing you all the products in action So um, those are my next videos that I really want to film. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry that it took me forever to get a vlog out, but I was just chilling hanging out with the family, you know Kind of I feel like January is a very good like reset month even though it's the first month of the year it's like a detox from the holidays 
relax, get your mind right for the new year kind of month. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.